Hello everyone. In continuation to our maintenance management topic, uh, now the question 10, the following is uh, data is available. Uh, it is given about elapsed months after servicing, which we are going to consider it as XI, one, two, six. Probability of failure uh, of those machines, it is given, total probability seems to be, uh, it should be one only. Breakdown maintenance cost is given as uh, rupees 500 per breakdown. Number of machines is given as 100 machines. Preventive maintenance cost is given as rupees 100 per machine. What we have to find out is breakdown cost per month. Second one, optimal period to do preventive maintenance. And then finally, we have to give our suggestion which policy is better, whether breakdown maintenance or preventive maintenance. First thing is we will find out the expected uh, number of months after a servicing being done or after a breakdown. So for that, we will calculate this XI into PI. First one, 1 into 0 0.2, it is 0 0.2. 2 into 0 0.1, it is 0 0.2. 3 into 0 0.3, it is 0 0.9. Then this is 1. This is 0.5. And this is 0.3. So if we add this, we will get 8, 17, 19, 21. 3.1. So we will say expectation of x, which is summation of xi into pi. Here i is ranging from 1 to this is x1 and so on up to this is x1, x2 and this is x6. And the corresponding probabilities are p1, p2, p3, p4, p5 and p6. So this will be equal to 3.1. What is that? It is the average number of months after a breakdown. That means number of breakdowns per month will be 1 divided by 3.1. So our average breakdown cost per month will be 1 by 3.1 multiplied by this. It is given already 500 rupees per breakdown. And there are 100 machines given. We'll call the number of machines as capital M. That is given as 100. So if we consider this, if we multiply this, we will get rupees 16,129. Now, second part, this is our first part. Second part, to find out the optimal period to do preventive maintenance. Optimum preventive maintenance period. One thing we may have to note is, note, let us say, because of preventive maintenance, breakdowns cannot be avoided. Some new breakdowns can also arise. Even though this is not specified in the question, we need to consider this. Right. 
Now, to find out this optimal preventive maintenance period, let us assume let Bj is equal to expected number of breakdowns between preventive maintenance intervals. So we can first calculate D1. It is number of machines multiplied by probability of one. Number of machines we know it is 100. Probability of one P1. Okay, let us do this also. Here, first one will be 0.2. Then 0.2 plus 0 0.1, 0 0.3. 0.3 plus 0 0.3, 0.6. 0.6 plus 0 0.25, 0.85, then 0 0.95, then 1.00. So these are the cumulative probabilities. Means this is basically P1. This is straight away P1. This is P1 plus P2. This is P1 plus P2 plus P3. This is P1 plus P2, plus P3, plus P4. This is P1, plus P2, plus P3, plus P4, plus P5. Last one is all, all the probabilities. So we have these things available. So this will be P1, P1, we saw that it is 0.2. So if we can, if we multiply this, we will get 20 numbers. That's the breakdown. Now, similarly, B2 can be obtained as M times P1 plus P2 plus P1 times P1. P1 times P1. So M we know it is 100. P1 plus P2. We already calculated that. 0 0.3. B1 we calculated above. It is 20. Multiplied by P1. It is 0 0.2. If we calculate this. We get 30 plus 4 which is 34. Same way, B3, M times P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus B2 times uh, P1 plus B1 times P2. M is 100. P1 plus P2 plus P3 is uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.6. Plus B2, we calculated about 34 times P1. P1 is 0 0.2. Plus B1, we calculated B1 as 20 times P2. P2 is 0 0.1. So that is 60 plus uh, 34 into 0.2, 6.8 plus 20 into 0.12. So this we get 68.8. Then similarly, B4 will be M times P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus P4 plus. You may notice one thing. The suffix, if I add 1 and 1, I get this 2. Here also 2 plus 1, I get this 3. 1 plus 2, I get this 3. Like that, 
if I put next one is P3, suffix P should have 1 because 3 plus 1 is 4 plus B2 times P2 because 2 plus 2, I should get this 4. Then plus B1 times P3. So this is 100 times P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus P4. That is 0 0.85 plus 68.8 times P1. P1 is 0 0.2 plus B2 is 34. P2, P2 is um, 0 0.1. Plus P1, it is 20 times P3. P3 is what is P3? P3 is 0 0.3. So this will be 85 plus 68.8 into 0 0.2. We get 13.76. This will become 3.4 plus this will become 6. If we add these, we get 108.16. Then B5 will be M times P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus P4 plus P5 plus P4 times, we should write P1 because this added summation of suffix should be 5 plus P3 times P2, P2 times P3 plus P1 times P4. So that is 100 times, what is P1 up to P5? Here we wrote 0 0.95. Before we calculated it as 108.16 times P1, it is 0.2. B3, 68.8. P2, P2 is 0 0.1. Plus B2, B2 is 34 times P3, P3 is 0 0.3 plus B1, 20, P4, what is P4? P4 is 0 0.25. So that will give you 95 plus 21.632 plus 6.88 plus 10.2 plus 5. So if we add all this, we get 138.712. Finally, B6. Why finally B6? Because we have only six possible values of X. One to six. So that is why we are calculating up to B6. So M times P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus P4 plus P5 plus P6 plus P5 times P1. P4 times P2 plus B3 times P3 plus B2 times P4. Finally, plus B1 times P5. So that is equal to 100, sum of all the probabilities. So it is 1 plus P5. 138.712 times P1. P1 is 0.2 plus B4. 
108.16 times P2.1 plus B3. This is M, P5, P4, B3. 68.8 times P3, it is 0.3 plus P2, 34 times P4, it is 0.25 plus B1, 20 times P5, P5 is 0.1. So if we calculate, it is 100 plus 27.7424 plus 10.816 plus 68.8 into 0 0.3, 20.64, 34 into 0 0.25, it is 8.5 plus 2. If we add all this, we get 169.7. Based on this, we will now create one table where we will incorporate these values and find out the average expected cost based on which we can decide our optimum uh, preventive maintenance period. The first column will be number of months between preventive maintenance service then second column expected number of breakdowns in j months So this one is nothing but our J. So this will be your BJ. Third column will be average expected cost per month to repair breakdown. So that is calculated as C suffix B multiplied by B suffix J divided by J. Next one, average cost per month for preventive maintenance service for each J month. That can be calculated as C suffix P 
multiplied by number of machines divided by j. This is C sub x p. Last column will be average expected cost per month of preventive maintenance and repair. Basically, sum of the second column and third column. Number of months, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay. Here, breakdowns, we calculated those B1, B2, those values we have to write. B1 was 20, B2, 34, B3, 68.8, B4, 108.16, D5 138.712, D6 169.7. Average expected cost, that is CB. What is CB? Let us go back. Cost of breakdown. This is our CB and this is our CP, cost of preventive maintenance, cost of breakdown maintenance. So here, in this case, the first one, CB, which is 500, 500 into 20, which is 10,000, divided by J is 1. So you get 10,000. Second one, 500 into 34. Let me... 500 into 34, whatever we get divided by 2, we get 8,500. Next one, 68.8 into 500 divided by 3, we get 11467. Third, 108.16 into 500 divided by 4, we get 13. 520. Fifth one, 138.712 into 500 divided by 5. It is 13871. Last one, 169.7 into 500 divided by 6. It is 14142. Next, cost of preventive maintenance, we saw it is 100 per mission. So 100 into M, which is 20, divided by 1, we get 2000, sorry, 100, M will be constant, no, 100 into 100 divided by 1, first one is 10,000. Next, 100 into 100, which is 10,000. So 10,000 by 2, we get 5,000. Third one, 10,000 by 3, we get double 3, double 3. Then 100, that is 10,000 by 4, we get 2,500. Last one, 10,000 by 5, we get 2,000. 10,000 by 6, we get 1,667. Now we need to add the last fourth, third and fourth column. We get 20,000, 13,500, 14,800, 16,020, 15,871, 15,809. We may notice from first month to the second month, there is a reduction 
in the third month itself it is increasing so we identify that least cost least average cost we can then conclude so we can say since sorry since the least average cost is rupees 13500 the optimum preventive preventive maintenance period is two months once in two months we need to do the preventive maintenance so that is our part b of the question now the last part is about giving our suggestion we may say breakdown cost per month which we already calculated in the first part 129 and then preventive maintenance cost per month which we identified events in two months we have to do for which we will be incurring an average cost of 13,500 so 13,500 since this is greater than this we will say since breakdown cost is greater than preventive maintenance cost preventive maintenance option or preventive maintenance policy is better than breakdown maintenance policy. So that will be the solution for this particular question. 